Well, welcome. This is part three of my a tour of the settlements that I created in Fallout 4 using no mods. Now, I did some editing on this because those load screens between uh, traveling get a little... get a little long. So I hope I got them all. I'm not going to talk through this whole thing, but basically uh, these are some I created years and years ago, and they might be of interest to people who wanted to see uh, some simple basic settlements that somebody created with no mods. And you might have created the same kind of thing. The only mod you're going to see on these is uh, that wall around the whole thing. I put that in later. These little uh, pumps here, they don't need any electricity. And uh, I'm planting gobs of mutt fruit, which is, I think that's the name of it. You see these things stuck in the sides of the walls? Well, that's the rug glitch. That's not a mod. And mutt fruit um, is, it gives you the most food points of any fruit, of any food. And the hand, those pumps there, they don't produce a lot of water. But there's no water source right here. And I don't have the mod for something else. And they don't need any electricity. So they're, they're about perfect. Well, they're all I've got. So here's some shops. There's another generator stuck into the side of the wall. There's the workbench. It works. It's just stuck in the side of the wall. Gives me more room. Looks uh, pretty crazy. But, you know, these are settlements that I made that are with no mods. And I built them like forts. So that the people here... The settlers would be safe. Now, this is the thing with this game is, if you play it any amount of time in creating settlements, they're constantly wanting you to come help them defend it. And I might not be uh, able to at that moment. Not that I'm doing a quest. These guns are down. I don't even think it matters. Must be something to do with the electrical. You'll probably rewire and get it to work. Isn't that a view? Look at that view out through there, though. Look at that. That is nifty. Right across there is a whole bunch of uh, uh, gunners and raiders. And you can uh, loot them. It's not the best place to loot. But uh, you, there's a lot of them, not a lot of them. But, you know, there's also a lot of feral ghouls around here too now I wanted to see if I couldn't link over to this other building and I did you can't build anything on top of that building right there you can see down and look at all the uh, provisioners running around don't see any at the moment but yeah I have like scores of them you'll see them in the game Roam in the streets. And uh, back to what I was saying, I have stores, I have water, I have the basics of uh, sleeping areas, with, which are sleeping bags. So they're never happy. I don't really think you can make these people happy. But, because uh, they're always going to complain about something you haven't done. And that's that modded wall. I don't really need it and in some places like starlight driving it actually it, it hurts the whole effect of the thing because I have shops and the walls just right there so you set up the shops and they make money for you if you have provisioners out there running the roads and they fight and they fight any kind of uh, uh, monsters or gunners or Raiders or whatever it is uh, when they fight them and you're around them you get points 
so a lot of the skill points that I've got it's not because I've done you know my leveling it's not because I've even done anything other than just be around where there's a fight going on and I level up so I created a whole lot this isn't a mod this is the automatron DLC and I created scores and scores of uh, robot provisioners and I even put the provision I even put robots picking you know plants harvesting them so I filled the roads with provisioners so that if I decide to run the roads they'll attack anything that's not I don't have to do a thing that's just how lazy I am I just have to follow along with them and they do all the attacking I'll probably make a video on that I mean you know it's it's pretty neat look at all these ruins at any moment some could jump out and want to attack me well that'd be great I'm 100 level 126 I have a sword this is a Jillian I named her after my cat that I had at one time that passed well she passed away here recently I didn't know what else to call her and I made it a girl I used to play uh, Tomb Raider a lot a long 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 time ago so I was like oh, we're gonna make it male or female well I, I used to play Tomb Raider so I just made it a, a female just, that was the total sum of my thinking about it it wasn't you know that and this is uh let's move on this was King's Port Lighthouse, I think, and I've got Miss Jillian here, and she is looking at what I created, which is uh, another fort-like, or well, they're all forts, pretty much, because I, I don't never uh, go there and defend them like I'm supposed to, and they're just built with wood and concrete, and over a period of time, no mods, uh, I've had to find all the wood. Look at all that. There's some more provisioners running around. Those cannons there, they, they can actually kill your provisioners, so you have to be careful. Well, I have so many, I'm not really terribly worried about it. I mean, I probably should. But I think I put hundreds on the road going between each settlement back and forth. And the ones that are robots, I actually named them. Now, some of these robots, when you see them, they'll they'll look all stripped down to the basic model. But that's just because uh, the game glitches. It glitches so bad. I built so many settlement. It might look like it's freezing at times. But uh, I built a lot of settlements, and i can't even go to bunker hill i decorated it up really nice and then when i go there now it just crashes i put paintings on the walls and try to fix it up and made it look really nice and now when i go there it just crashes another place you can't do a whole lot with is a mechanist uh layer which doesn't seem to work with settlers you can make some robots there but you can't put any, uh, you know, settler type situations in, uh, I guess, without a mod. You'll see it, I have it on here. Now, I probably should have put some, but it's ruined. I'd rather just build somewhere else within the area. I think I put a bunch of the uh, beds inside the lighthouse. That would make sense because there's a lot of room there. You have the shops and those scavenger stations over there that that robot's at. That's important because that gives you material. So if you have a bunch of those in different places, now I just kind of pause the game for a little bit to go do something, and and it just moves around on its own. Isn't that cool? I think that was a little thing I tried to see if I could escape radiation, that little box there with the door. It doesn't work. What you end up doing is building uh, these things that you can stand in where it sprays you down and then that gets rid of the radiation. There's no other way to get rid of it unless you take rat away. 
I think we're still at Kingsport. Yeah, this is Kingsport. See, I've altered these so much, it's, it's hard to s see what they are. Well, I don't think I need to talk through this whole thing. Uh, if you find any places where it looks like the loading screen is taking a little bit too long, just just fast forward a little bit through that. But I tried to cut as much of that as I could. I, I'm going to put some more videos up later because uh, I don't have the vault on, on here, the Nuka City, all those settlements. But... Uh, that's because when I first started playing this game those weren't out yet and I never added them to it I have other characters that have those okay so I'll go around and visit some of those with some of my other characters and anyway uh, thanks for watching so far and if you like my video please like and subscribe thank you We've got to do something to stop these radar attacks. Not many doctors around these days. Let me take a look at you. The old raiders hit us hard. The farm's not much, but it's something. You hear about that farm run my Don't care much for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble.
Words won't affect me. You, that's a different story. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach.
trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. Graveyard, you should go. Whole place is up by road. It's a rather pleasant evening, wouldn't you say? Coming in pretty good. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. You need something, General? Radio Freedom. 
Rock's been growing pretty good. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Howdy, General. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. So many humans, not many super mutants.
ready to start tracking down some robots?